Hello everybody, I'm Nate. This is LEGO Racers 2 for the PS2, one of the first PS2 games to come out. And what else? Yeah, I've learned that I have an innate talent to... Because uh, if you guys don't know, there was a Brutal Moose video like when he was starting out YouTube. Woo! When he was playing LEGO Racers 1. And he like made the ugliest character ever. And he was like, they see me rolling. It was just that, that's the only clip he put in there. I'll be right down. And I have the innate talent to, whenever I say, just roll in, everybody always goes, they hate it. I've had it happen to me so many times, it's really funny. Aw, oh, Nate, you're so brave enough to come and challenge me. Let's race. Okay, bitch, you know I'm not starting to feel very confident. I'm pretty sure the fireman is going to get his ass whomped. He's going to get whomped. How many kart racing games have I played on the show, everybody? A few. It's one of my favorite genres of racing. Because it's fun and easy. You can pick it up, you can put it down, you can flip it all around. It's a fun genre. And here's the fireman. And I've already mastered the perfect launch. That's how good I am. Some games just does not tell you how to do a perfect launch. And it's not raining this time, so that's good. And guys, if you don't know, there wasn't many Lego sets in the in this era. Like they added a lot of Lego sets like 2004 onward. Lego was powerful, but unlike nowadays when you see stuff like, you know, Lego Star Wars and Lego Harry Potter and Lego Marvel, there was a few of those, but there wasn't as many. It was just normal generic Lego most of the time. What does Ninja Helmet do? Uphill climb! And the fireman is nowhere near me. Take this. Oh no! Scandinavian flick! No! Oh, here we go in the cave? Sweet. In the cave we go. Oh, and then up the cave. Don't fall. I almost cut that corner and died. Oh, really? That's all this does? All the helmet does. Come on, fireman, come back. That was one lap. This is a big track. I don't remember seeing any of this shit. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's a dumb fire one. Dude, he still crashed, though. Oh, crap. Okay, I got a big missile, so I just have to wait till I catch up to him and then I can launch it. He's right there. He's right there and I can smell him. Uh, damn it, that was a dumb fire one. Come back here, fireman. Oh, and I can't pick up another thing until... Mm. Oh, come on. I'm so close to him. And I feel like I am just too close to love you. That's what the song does. And I don't know why I didn't pick that up. I am just blazing. Speed is key. Ugh. Come on. I could beat a fire truck with my haphazardly slopped together vehicle that I made. It's cool. It's got a truck bed and a speaker system, and two antennas. Exhibit showed up, and he pimped my ride. I'm cutting corners, though, like no other. There you go. Cut him in the inside. And down I go. Oh, shit. Ugh. Okay, good. I didn't want to die there. What's you, what's you guys' favorite uh, console? That's funny that heat seeking missile said targeting second. But it's too late. It blew up. Fell into the ground. Take this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! God. <laughs> he pit maneuvered me. How's that fair? I can't pit maneuver anybody, but all the AI is just, just great. Okay, I didn't. I messed up the big launch at the beginning there, but that's okay. 
I love games that are just wickedly unfair. Wicked unfair. Like when a guy rams you and takes your power up. Hey, uh. Can I have another power up now, please? Thank you. But yeah, guys, what is your favorite game on the PS2 of all time? I'm going to be playing two back to back, or at least trying to. It sucks that there's like a recharge rate when you pick up a weapon. See, like that. I got another disc in my arsenal. I got another disc in my arsenal. I'd be really upset, though, if I had a PS1 and then I got a PS2 and this was the game I got. Because now I can't use the control sticks, I have to use the freaking D-pad. That makes no sense. Why would they make a PS2 game not use the D-pad? Or not use the control stick. Damn it, you know what I'm talking about. You put two control sticks on these brand new PS2 controllers. Actually, guys, uh, comment question. What if the year is 2002 and you just got a PS2? What three games are you going to buy? See, that makes a big catch there because it can't be any games that came out before freaking 2002. So you are screwed. You want that Resident Evil Code Veronica X? No. You want The Suffering? No. Well, you want freaking Jack and Daxter? Well, you could probably have the first one. I think the first one was out in 2002. That game kicks ass. And with my dog missile, I am definitely going to wait until he passes me. Because he's going to do it. He's got really good grip. For a, well, for a fire truck. You hit pretty good. For a bitch. Here I go. Let's make a list of things I hate. Oh no! Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh! Take this, bitch. Please fall off. Okay. I passed him barely, and I got my shield. So, Thundercloud is a shield. Got it. I need to remember all these dumb power ups. Because that's how it is in every kart racer game. You must know what the stupid power ups do. So, guys, in LEGO Racers for the N64 and PS1, the first one, it was a colored brick. And if you picked up that specific colored brick, it would always have the same power up. But then you had little white bricks scattered about. And if you collected. <clears throat> And if you collected the white brick too, then it enhanced your power up. Which was really cool. Yes! Okay, I got the dumb fire missile to work. Poor fireman. I have been a huge jerk to him. Okay, ninja. I'm gonna get a little bit of my speed boost there. You lose traction in this game so quick. It is ridiculously fast at the ass, like that. It tried to get away from me. It tried to get away from me, but I said no way. I said get out of here, bitch. You're, you smell. Okay, I should also read the manual, because I still have the instruction book. It came with my copy that I ordered, so that's cool. And across the line. Sweet. Yeah. And I'm starting to get the sniffles again. That's why I'm trying to, you know, get out of my current predicament. Because I keep getting sick, because I keep getting stressed, because stupid shit keeps happening. I'm the racing championship. Now it's down to either you or the policeman. So now, so pretty much every level is you just have to challenge, like, the four main guys. That's right. Meet me at the police station and we'll see who is going to be Sandy Bay's greatest racer. Continue. I thought I was going to crash for a second. I was like, I put 32 minutes into a video game and it crashes? What? Yeah. yeah. What? That was weird. When you get like a fuzzy on your shirt or like some, some crud, but it looks like the same pattern as the shirt you're wearing. I'm going to save really quick. Uh, slot one. Yes. Cool. You guys never heard of autosave. Okay. And here we go. 
I'm glad you guys are, I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is going to be a fun mini Let's Play, and he's right there. Yep, arrest me right now. Hang on, Nate. I'll just bring my car around. Oh, here he is. Do I unlock the all other characters' cars when I beat them? That should be how it is. And let me guess. Uh, it's going to be one of those all-cup tour kind of things. You'll never defeat me, I'm afraid. I'll be Sandy Bay's representative at the Galactic Racing Championship. Sweet. I'd like to win. My tires are clipping through the floor. Hmm. Maybe you didn't think uh, you'd lose to the postman. Or, dang it, I'd lose to the postman. The postman, postman Pat was hard. Postman Pat in black and white. <laughs> postman Tap. How did they know that he was a furry? He kept it a secret all these years, and now everybody knew. Go! Go, damn it! Also, I get to play games with my two degenerate friends today. It's gonna be really fun. And now it's Sunset Overdrive. See, I made a joke, because that's the name of a game. I had the word Sunset in it. You guys didn't take into account that I'd have heat-seeking missiles. Yeah, if this game is as short as I think it is, then we are going to get to the other PS2 game in no time flat. And that is a good thing, because the other PS2 game is about as long as this one. So that means I can beat two more games this year before I start my other two projects. Oh man, a split path. Sweet. And we got some Crash Bandicoot-esque music. I know it's not, but you know what I mean. No! Piece of shit. I know I built it in 10 seconds, but uh, really? Alright. Again, guys, if I lose a race or something stupid happens more than like five times, I'm going to see if I can uh, get a new car built. Because how are you supposed to know? Oh man, he missed the Destructo disc. Oh, it's bouncing. My frickin' hap, my <laughs> janky ass truck with exhibit stereo system is gonna win. Take this. It's weird, there's like red lasers on that side, so I bet that route is gonna open on the, like one of the other laps. Yeah, this is where my car kinda ate shit last time. Oh, and I tried to again. Good job, car. Uh, oh god. Mario Kart 64 controls better than this. Oh man, through the trees, and I'm keeping my heat-seeking missile, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm keeping my heat-seeking missile for just such an occasion. And I think this is, oh, we are on lap two, it's just a big loop of the island, because we drove past the postman's house and the uh, freaking fireman's house, I think, but I got a hefty lead, I hear something... Aw, oh, damn it. I lost one of my antennas. No, now I can't get 1087.1. The beer belly. <coughs> oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. In a, a Coors Light and a beer koozie. This is Cheeseburger in Paradise. Jimmy Buffett on the hour. Everybody, it's the kinks. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good. Also, I like how I'm missing just an antenna and a vent. That's all the missile took off my car. No, it also took my freaking rack off. Knock his block off. Knock his rack off. Oh crap, here's the cop. Hello, cop. Don't pit maneuver me. I know that's the thing that cops do in the real world, but please. That is scary, though. I never want to be pit maneuvered. I know if you're a professional racing driver, you can, you can turn in a specific way to combat the pit maneuver. Also, I'm hoping that other races in this are more than just me against one guy. Because in the first LEGO Racers, which I tried to record first, guys, uh, oh damn it. Now my car's got even less parts. Now I got honey on my knees. Oh crap, here he is. Are you kidding me? That is the shittiest heat seeking missile I have ever seen. Officer. Oh, and he got a destructor disc? How is it? 
That's another thing I don't like about some kart racing games is the AI can get like 58 power-ups in the time that you got one. So, like, unfair. Take this, bitch. No! Final corner! Okay, now we're on the final corner. Get out of here! <laughs> yeah, I have like hardly a car anymore since I got hit by all those missiles. Yeah, look at my car! Woo! Oh god, I'm so sad. No way! That makes you the best racer on Sandy Bay. Don't believe it? I don't believe it. That was great, Nate. See, it rhymes. This means you're going to be the one to go to Galax and challenge Rocket Racer. Cool. When do I leave? Not just yet, buddy. Rocket Racer has the fastest supercar the galaxy has ever seen. <coughs> so you'll need to <coughs> practice if you're going to beat him. I should have got a drink. I got a flat Dr. Pepper here. I'm not drinking that shit. How am I going to do that? Well, there are race meetings uh, held on Lego Worlds. Mm. Fuck it, flat Dr. Pepper. Go there and win those races. <coughs> Maybe you should beat Rocket Racer. Show, worthy, bleh, show him you're a worthy opponent. Okay. Okay. So how do I get to these other worlds? <coughs> cool, got it. You know those golden bricks you got to, for winning the races? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> well, if you've collected enough of those, you can visit the other worlds and take part in the races. Ooh, a race war. I see. To make a journey to one of the other LEGO worlds, you'll need to find the jump points located around the coast of Sandy Bay. Dino Island is pretty cheap to travel to. Go ahead and find the jump point and see if you have enough golden bricks to get there. Sweet. Okay, wish me luck. Hey, you don't need luck, Nate. You've already proved to everyone on Sandy Bay that you're a great racer. Now get out of there, buddy, and make me proud. Yay. So yeah, guys, I just hit the 20-minute mark. Perfect, and we're already a quarter down with the game. Hilarious. I'm pretty sure we're a quarter down with the game. It's not that long. We're almost a quarter done with the game. It's supposed to be a three and a half to four and a half hour game. So, we'll see when we see. Ready? Ready? On the next installment of LEGO Racers, I am going to travel to Dino World, my friend Soar's favorite planet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next RAR.